So, do you guys want to hear my thoughts on the kits of the Premier League? Well, let's talk about it. Hey everybody, Mike from LA1 here. I'm going to be ranking all kits in the Premier League by team. So I'll be ranking all, when I go to a team, I'll be ranking all three respectively, individually. And I'm not going to give them a combined score or anything. I just want to keep this close here. So, so just want to be clear. Just, just want to be clear. Got to get my words straight, folks. I'm not working with a script here. These are my opinions, so... And we're going to be going in order the way EAFC has it. So, I'm just going to... Arsenal will be second, and I'm going to go into Bournemouth first. Speaking of which, let's start off with Bournemouth's kits. Okay, AFC Bournemouth. The Cherries. Sorry, I had to choose a team here. First off, we got this one here. You ought to admit, I really like what Umbro tried to do here. Which, oh, by the way, they also work with the the gear for Williams Racing. But I, this is the traditional home kit that Bournemouth has. And honestly, I really like it. My only complaint is the sponsor. Could they have made the Dabobet logo blend in later? But overall, I think this is not a terrible kit. This is a really solid kit. Nice place. Now let's go to their away kit. And I have to say, my problem with the kit but is not different. And I like they chose a different shade of blue, which I think this is the different theme with some of the teams in, this, in the Premier League. But this is easily one of my favorite away kits. And I'm actually tempted to buy it. But there's some several on here that are better than this one. But this is a fifth place in my book. Now let's go to the away, the third kit. And again, I think my problem with the home kit, I think they got this one backwards. The kit on the, the colors of the sponsor on the away kit probably would have been better here. But again, they covered the badge in the same colors. And Blue and yellow, I think this is a decent away kit for them. I think I'll put this 13th. I'm sorry. Alright, Arsenal. Here we go. And first off, I gotta say, traditional Arsenal colors. In the traditional red for Arsenal. But notice they came in second in the league. Why the hell are they wearing gold? I mean, seriously, why with the gold? I swear, are they trying to rip off another team that Adidas chose? I mean, come on, seriously. What? Who's Arsenal trying to rip off? Oh, yeah. But overall, I re this is a really good kit. Fourth place. And, oh, boy. I really have to talk about this one. My first thoughts when I saw this was instant Forest Green Rovers, and we'll get to them in a little while. Hold on a second. My, uh, first off, as I stated, the design is very unoriginal. And this is Adidas we're talking about here. First off, not a total fan of the green, but I like the stri the teal striping, which is a part of the third kit. Spoiler alert. <laughs> but I really wish the gold would have been on this design. I really wish instead of going for the light green, they could have gone with gold. And I'll be honest, this is probably one of the teams I would like to buy all three kits. But overall, this is 15th. I'm sorry. And what I would mention about the third kit, boy, did they redeem themselves here. This probably should have been the away kit this year. And honestly, I really like the teal and the very dark blue here for Arsenal, for this Arsenal third kit. It is really, really strong in the third kit department. Third fucking place here. And how about the team that's shocking everybody in the Premier League right now? Aston Villa. I'm sure His Royal Highness is really happy with the play they're playing. So let's take a look at their kits. Obviously, Castor is responsible here and first off standard villa kit and the first year with the new badge now there's rumors that they're going to switch it back i don't know why not a big fan of the sponsor but i love 
Bob back. And uh, apparently they're looking for a new manufacturer for their kit, so I might have to hurry and pick these up quick. Overall, very as clean as hell, sixth place. Their away kit, I really like the design, and I gotta give credit to the sponsor for blending it in with the colors of Aston Villa. And, come on, I dig the teal blue pants. For that reason, this is this is a sixth place, but I what I really like is the blue kit, third kit, and I see I'm, this is where you're starting to see a theme here. Again, the sponsor blended in with the colors, digging the design, and the badge fits in as well. Fifth place, well done, Aston Villa. All the bees of Brentford. Let's take a look. First off, they have their traditional stripes here. I really don't understand why they have a betting sponsor since Ivan Tony got suspended. Of course, it's Umbro again. Overall, I really like this one, but I, I have to put this in seventh. Seventh place because the black there, I feel like they should have kept it red. I'm sorry. That's probably my only issue with this one. Away kit, this is the same one from last year, so reusing it, I'm putting the 16th. I'm sorry. And, ooh, very unique design for Brentford. Different type of thing for the sponsor. But pretty much, I really like that. I really like this. I definitely want to pick this up. Eighth place, and I don't know what's causing all that flashing. Eighth place for Brentford. Brighton and the whole Valby, and congrats to them on beating Marseille. First off, we have the very traditional blue and white for, for Brighton, and overall, this is probably one of their best home kits in quite a while, because usually they have the white on the shoulders there, but this year they didn't do that. Honestly, this is a solid kit from the Nike camp, but unfortunately, I think there's so many better home kits this year. I have to put this ninth. I'm sorry. Away kits, this is a really good one. But again, there's so really strong away kits this oh, they're away kits this time. I'm gonna have to put this tenth. And oh oh god. Uh I keep thinking of those protesters drilling oil with this red card. Normally, I love red kits, but this is, that's too much. Uh, I'm sorry. This is 19th. I am sorry, Brighton. I'm definitely going to get these two, but staying the hell away from this one. I am sorry. Okay, Burnley. They share the same color scheme with Aston Villa, so let's see how they do here. And same kit, man. Different kit manufacturer. We have Umbro again. I gotta say, clean and traditional. Seventh place. And oh god. This is one of those kits that's gonna get you noticed and made fun of at a comedy club. And this screams Washington Commanders, which I don't think it's a good thing. Honestly, as far as the way kits go, this is rock bottom, 20th place. I am sorry, Burnley. But to your credit, you did redeem yourself with this away kit. Digging this retro, this futuristic design, the gradient surprisingly works. And I like the different, the color scheme and the badges. It sort of blends in nicely. 11th place. Well, this was a pretty solid kit. Definitely keeping my eyes on this one. Definitely not getting this one. Focusing on getting this one for sure. Oh, Chelsea, Chelsea, Chelsea. What we have here is a jersey. Their home and away kits are... Their home kit is sort of a throwback, which another team in the lower division tried to do it. Oh, we'll get to that. First off, home kits. For one... I really like the design of the badge, which I think it's really very shiny and clean for Chelsea standards. This year, they no, no kits. 
I'm surprised. Not much of a collar this year. I was kind of expecting them to go for a collar. I mean, seriously. I was expecting there to be a button with this one. But so far, no, no sign. I guess they wanted to tr try something new, I guess. I will give them credit for it. But I do have to dock the points for despite the shinier badge, lack of design, 14th. But to their credit, with the away kit, they definitely fixed the design problem with this one, for sure. And I like the design here, and again the shiny badge definitely shines through here. And honestly, not else I could say. Seventh place. And as far as this kid is deserved, uh, I'm sorry, Chelsea, but this is boring as fuck. 18th. I'm sorry. Oh, yes, Crystal Palace. Oh, boy, Crystal Palace. We all know the last few years, Crystal Palace's kits are not usually good, except for their third kits. But last year, broke the trend, even though they kind of copycat it from a, a team in Croatia. But let's see if they can redeem themselves this time. Let's see it. Oh my. Yes, they definitely did it again. I really like this half and half. But honestly, I really wish they didn't have the white line. I'm putting this 12th. This is still good. This is still really strong. I love the outline of the actual Crystal Palace. The away kit. This isn't a beauty pageant, but again, the sky blue again. This is really a theme here. And I love that they actually went black with the badge. But, again, this is the problem with the Chelsea third kit. Other than the sash going down the side, this is very boring. I'm sorry, 18th. Although the third kit, this is more like it. This is easily a fifth place right here. Well done, Crystal Palace, with this away kit. With this third kit. Seriously, why can't the black kits be the away kits? Come on. Come on, Crystal Palace. Alright, up next is the Toffees of Everton. Boy, what a season they're having so far. The people thought they were gonna get the Toffees were gonna get relegated. Sean Dice is doing a masterclass job, and of course they have the points reduction, and they've been on such a good streak lately, to the point where, if it wasn't for that points reduction, they would be competing for a European spot. Hard to believe, just two years in a row, this team was in, was in in a battle for again to stay up. Keep fighting, Toffees! Can't wait to see more Premier Leagues, Premier League in in that new stadium. But it's all about the toppy season so far. Let's talk about the kits. All right, the Everton kits. And first off, I would complain about Hummel reusing their kits, but this year, no design this time. No design, but instead they added the collar. Nice and simple. And it's very simple considering this is the last year of Goodison Park. But I'm putting this 13th. Next up is the away kit, and I have to say, adding red in the, the bluest part of, of Liverpool, and they use red to, to piss off the Liverpool side, Liverpool fan side of this thing, that takes a lot of balls. To have the blue side of Liverpool have red in their color scheme. And I have to say, this shirt fucking rocks. This gamble paid off. Whoever designed this deserves a pay raise. This is easily the best away shirt in the Premier League. This is my first place. Yeah, I'm shocked. Everton... 
actually got first place in this. So it's, I love it. I'm probably going to pick this up along with this one. Okay, the third kit. Obviously, we know Southampton uses it, and trust me, I'll be ranking that one a little later. But I really like this half and half design. Obviously, they they have the St. Lawrence Tower on the badge, so they use that for the second year in a row, as far as I'm aware of. And honestly, I love that the blue and silver, and because this blue and silver is the, the colors of my alma mater, this is a very well designed third kit. Second place. Well done, Everton. All right, Fulham. Home of the cons. Hopefully, their kits are better than what AEW's been on a cold streak in real life. Although, like, the tournament's really good. Okay, home kit. Okay. I really like it. This kit screams Fulham. And I like the fact it has London Club on the slot on the back there. I don't know if that's actually in the game. And I like the fact that one side of sleeves is red and the other half is white. I have to admit, this is this is very clean. 12th place. And, oh, God. Again, this is the same problem than the Bright and Stir kit. This is the type of shit that you get made fun of in the comedy club. 19th. However, they do redeem the pink, the pink car, the, the pink colors with their third kit. I like this design, and to be honest, this sh probably sh this should go in the trash. This should be the away shirt. Overall, I really like this one. 10th place. Oh yes. Next up is Liverpool. Okay. Liverpool. You'll never walk alone. Now, hopefully, this kit does as well as this one, as well as the away kit last year. Hopefully, they won't let me down. Let's take a look. Let's see what Liverpool did. Home kit, plain and traditional. But to be honest, it's also clean as fuck. Digging the design. Third place on the... On the home kit side. You heard me. And next. Oh. God. Okay. Who does, which designer is playing Minecraft? I had a really hard time. Designing this. I really wish they added some red. In there. But I think Everton did a much better job. In the away kit side. This is 16th. I know this is a throwback to one of their past designs, but sometimes throwing it back doesn't usually work. And again, we'll talk about the club that really blew it in the, when we go to a lower division. And anyone who knows it knows me probably knows which club I'm talking about. And let's talk about their third kit. All the problems I had with the away kit no more. This is such a gorgeous kit. They use the same neck and collar design from the last year's away kit, which I really digged. And in fact, first place. Yep, a Liverpool 1 2 in the third kit department. Which is, a, which I had. Liverpool did a great job on the third kits. Well done. All right, let's talk about the Hatters of Luton Town. Hopefully, to get these kits, I don't have to walk through someone's home. Let's take a look. And, huh, okay. Well, first off, I like the orange design for the Hatters. The sponsor isn't much of a problem. I dig the gradient white on the, on the shoulder there. Very, very simplistic. 14th. Or 15th, excuse me. But I like that they actually switched it with the away kit. But again, this is 16th. But what Luton did amazing is I like is this, is this third kit. 
honestly, this is definitely, this is easily a 7th place shirt. Well done, the Hatters. I dig this design. I really wish the design went down the shirt and not leaving a lot of blank space. Up next is the home of the tr latest trouble, Manchester City. Hopefully their kits are just as strong like, as their team is. All right, Man City, let's take a look and see. First off, we have a traditional home kit. First off, a massive thank you. They put the badge where it should be. I was not a huge fan of them putting the badge in the middle. I prefer it being on the shoulder. Shoulder? But, man, this is a killer design. Killer design. But, again... I'm going to put this in 8th, but I really think this should have gone a lot higher. Okay. I actually have a little bit to say on this one. Not, I dig the design. The white or silver is fine, but I really wish the batch was a little bit easier. They could have made it a tad bigger. For Puma design and what's up with this brownish color? I'm sorry. This is this is this is 17th on the away kit side. I'm I'm sorry, but boy, did they redeem themselves with this one. Love the lightning bolt design. Lightning bolt design, and this is where I approve pink in the color scheme of this one. This is easily. My third place in the away. This is even my fourth place on the away kit. Yeah, I probably have to have a little more anking on these kits last next time for sure. But this is the first time I'm doing this. So up next, glory, glory, Man United. Oh yes, Manchester United. Even though the team is doing crap in real life, let's see how they did in the kits. Hopefully, they the fans, the supporters of Manchester, need something to cheer about. All right, let's take a look. Oh my god. I am speechless. This is easily, out of all the kits I have reviewed so far, I can safely say this is the best kit out of everything in the pram. First place in the home department. Now, you guys are probably thinking, like, what? I love the black striping. And thankfully, they got rid of what I had a problem with it last year with the, uh, the badge within the badge. And I really like the team viewer actually stacked up. The design of the Red Rose looks amazing. And overall, this is probably one of the best modern Manchester United shirts out there today. Do yourself a favor, get this one. Now let's talk about the away kit. First off, I really, first I really hated the green at first. I was like, there was not much red in here. But it really grew on me to the point when I saw it on the pitch, I liked it. To the point where second place. I really like this shirt. I know a lot of people hate this one, but this is such a unique shirt that Man United fans will probably will never see again. And speaking of kits I would like to see be reused and redone, is the away kit. Well, first off, I love it. I like it. This is easily, this is a top five. But I put it in six because I am not much of a big fan of white shirts. White shirts. I dig the design and I love the history behind it because this is a throwback. But I would like to see this design come back and a, with a black outline. I think this would be amazing if it has the black, a full black shirt with that red devil on it. Okay, Newcastle United. Let's see how the Saudis did. Again, Castor again. And okay. I have to admit, this is a nice, simple kit. 
but I have to put this 12. Mainly because we've seen this before, and it's traditional for the magpies of Man uh, Newcastle. Blech, I nearly screwed up there. Now, oh my god. This is probably really controversial, but just because they're owned by the Saudis doesn't mean you have to go all green here. For that, 17. This is 18. But I really like this one for the baggies. For the, I swear, baggies. Boy, I'm thinking of West Brom all of a sudden here. Honestly, this is a killer design. This is this is this is my top five right here. Really good. I gotta go on a charge break. I'll be right back. Gives me time to think about where I want to bump, who I want to bump for the next ones. Nottingham Forest and the, a club whose shirt I really need to get. Let's see. Okay, first one. Normally, I love red shirts, but this is box standard of all box standard. Just a standard red shirt. And I know it's classic, but I thought last year's was actually really good. Nottingham fans, I'm sorry. Even though this shirt is good, someone needs to be in last. I'm sorry. I'm putting this 19th. I mean, it's still good, but this was a really tough decision. Although, I like this one. The different shades of blue makes me think we're seeing an Argentina. Argentina vibes here. And I think this one's a lot higher up. So in fact, this cranked the top 10. So, yeah. And this kit, very unique. Very unique. This is easily ninth place. Good work, Nottingham, other than the box standard red one, which is very boring. And the sad thing is, I may actually need to buy that one. All right, Sheffield United, and, oh. Even though, even though I said I thought this was near bottom, I thought Nottingham's shirt was bottom, red bottom, was rock bottom on the home kick side, but the CFI sponsorship takes the cake. This, that, this ruins the shirt. I'm sorry, Sheffield United. This is rock bottom, 20th. I'm sorry. Now, to their credit, CFI actually redeemed themselves with the away kit, but I just have one question. Why is this yellow? Now, granted, they blended the badge and the sponsor did his job well, but, yeah, this is a weird one. 15th. Now this is more this is probably the best out of the three for Sheffield United. But still, this is this is 14th. I'm sorry, Blades. Thanks for Billy Sharp though, until we lost him. Next up, oh the team with the red hot start until Aston Villa came along. Up next is Tottenham Hotspur. Here we go. Let's take a look and uh, uh no I just Normally, I despise red shirts, and I still do, but at least they made an effort to try something new with this. But I really wish they went with something more along the lines of a 2014 look, but, I mean, no disrespect to the Tottenham fans. This is 18th. I'm sorry. But at least they tried something new with the background, but I really wish they went with something more like 2013, 2014 or something, where it has blue, blue gradient on it. Okay. Now, sh because we, before we get to the away kit, I have to say, last year's away kit was probably the worst shirt in all the Premier League. Yes, even worse than the Newcastle, oh, not Newcastle, Ugh. oh god, I forgot which one it was, Ugh. worse than the Chelsea third? Last year, yeah, Chelsea third, yeah. Last year's Chelsea third. 
was worse than this one. But now, worse than that one. But surely, I can't wait to see what Tottenham did this year to see if, what they did to redeem, them, redeem themselves. Yes! And honestly, they kept it traditional with the two shades of blue. Good on ya! And in fact, this is third place. Yeah. This is my third place. I can't believe how good this looks. And they're, they're again, different shades of gray and black. And I love the fact that they actually used the neck collar similar to Nottingham. Uh, that Liverpool's away shirt was last year, not Nottingham. Blech. I really have to consider using a script. <laughs> so, yeah. Overall, I really like this one. And I think this is probably a good way to fool your friends saying, what color is this shirt? Kind of like what the dress was back in 2015. What color is that dress? Yeah. Overall, for the unique, unique shirt, this is 7th place. Next, West Ham United. And honestly... This one, plain and simple. Again, traditional West Ham colors. This is actually, this is actually my 16th. I still want to buy because this is really a strong shirt for West Ham. Kind of wish it was like last year. Oh, their away kit. Honestly, I have to put this in. I have to put this in in my eighth place. They tried something really new here, and honestly, it kind of worked, but yeah, this shirt is going to be a pain in the ass to put in the wash, to be completely honest. So, which is why I am probably am not going to get this one, mainly because this shirt can get dirty very easily. Seriously, what was West Ham thinking? But this was a great idea, and this is probably my favorite out of the three. I love this away kit. And for a while, I thought this was going to be up there with Liverpool and Man United. But in the end, I decided to put this in a pretty comfortable fifth place. I really like it. In fact, these two are probably my favorites to get, to be honest with you. And last but not least, Wolverhampton Wanderers. Or just Wolves. And first off, we got this gold... I gotta say, I this is probably my favorite out of the three. We'll get to these three in a second. But, yeah. Honestly, this is standard Wolverhampton colors. I have to put this in 12. And the away kit, let's be real. They're playing homage to the fact that the joke of every every player on this team is Portuguese. But overall, I gotta put this I gotta put this 14th. I still wanna buy it though. In fact, I wanna buy all three of these. And to conclude this kit, how fitting, it's another blue shirt. Ugh. Now to their credit, the wolves actually blended it in nicely, which honestly, I'm gonna put this in in eleventh. And there you guys go, my first attempt at a uh, Premier League shirt at a uh, kit, shirt kit rankings. I'm gonna and yes, I did say I'm gonna do all the leagues here. Cause tomorrow, tomorrow we're doing the championship. See you next time.